Hi, welcome to this tutorial on thermodynamics. In this tutorial we're just going to go over the concepts of heat, work and temperature. So we've all heard of these words um, and we've all got our own ideas of what they mean. So let's have a look at them scientifically. What actually does heat mean? What work means? What, what is temperature? Okay, so heat is basically the transfer of energy from one system to another. So if we've got... This is our system, whatever it is, it's a reaction flask, if it's chemistry or it's a spring, if it's um, a, you know, physics or something like that. So we've got our surroundings and our surroundings, well, let's say that's the other system. Or we could have, make it a bit easier, a cup of tea. We've got a cup of tea there and we've got a hand around it. It's the hand. Okay. Forgive me for the hand. That's the hand around a cup of tea. Now the cup of tea is hot. We've all experienced this. Heat will transfer from the hot cup of tea to our cold hand. So if we look at this as a system, this is uh, the hot cup. This is our hand. This is a system we're interested in. The hand, and the hot cup of tea is the surrounding, say, and heat is transferred into the system. Now that will raise the energy of this system our hand. Now you have to forgive me if this is a bit confusing but the idea is that heat is the transfer of energy but it's slightly different to work. Now work is also the transfer of energy and the difference between the two is that heat transfers energy in a chaotic manner. So imagine all the molecules um, in my hand the, the energy that's transferred from the hot cup of tea um, will go into the molecules in my hand. They'll get more energy. And rather than uh, my hand just moving away in a certain direction, it'll stay still, but my hand will get warmer. And the reason it gets warmer is because all the molecules have more thermal motion. They will move more, they will vibrate more, and that generates its own heat, if you will. So that heat is the transfer of energy from one system to another in a chaotic manner. Chaos is the key to that one. Chaotic. Okay, so just circle that. And that's heat. Can't be used really. It just it, All it does is increase the energy of whatever system you're interested in. Now work, on the other hand, is slightly different because work is the um, it's a transfer of energy from um, the uniform um, motion of atoms and what I mean by that is imagine you've got a piston let's move these down a little bit so we can just explain this a bit better so move that down there so if you've got a piston in your system, piston in your system. There we are. Now work is the transfer of energy as well. Okay, so that's that might be new to some people, probably not, but it's work is the transfer of energy as well. Okay, but work is the unit is the transfer of uniform motion of molecules, if you will. So rather than giving our system here um, chaotic random motion that we can't really do anything with but just increases the internal energy work can be used now this is why thermodynamics is really important because work can be used so if we increase the okay let's let's say this is a fuel in here it's got petrol in there or gasoline if you're uh, in the US and we increase the energy there with heat random motion Okay, random thermal energy. All the molecules move faster. And by increasing the heat of the system, we can provide work to the, on the surroundings of a uniform motion. So increasing the energy in this system will cause the piston to move up. So it goes in that direction. And that's a uniform motion of molecules. All this piston is made out of molecules, or atoms of metal and it moves in the same direction so that is work it's the it's work is the transfer of energy that changes the motion of atoms in the surroundings in a uniform manner and that's the standard definition of that t 
temperature, on the other hand, is, is more to do with entropy. Now we'll cover entropy later on. And really, um, temperature is, is like the random energy that molecules and atoms contain. And you can't really do anything with. Okay, so you can't use it as work. So if you've got one system here, let's get this back up. I'll just... And all these definitions I'll put up at the side. Let's just move this back up. Well, look at these two systems here. We have got, so this is cold and blue, and this is hot. Okay, these are, these are terms that are used for temperature. Now, temperature is not heat. So that's, that's the first thing you need to know. Temperature is not heat. Heat is a transfer of energy. Now, heat occurs during, um, um, temperature is very important for the transfer of energy. So what happens is, this here, the hot system, means that the atoms and molecules in this system here have got more thermal motion, more random chaotic motion than the ones in here. So T2, say, and that's T1. And what we're saying is T2, the energy of it, is greater than T1. And what happens there is T2 can transfer some of its energy. So this is T2 here this one. T2 can transfer some of its energy over to T1. Now T1 doesn't transfer energy over to T2. Uh, that can be done but you need uh, what's called like a heat pump or something like that. We won't go into that, that's too, a bit too confusing. But the transfer of energy from T2 to T1 is a spontaneous thing, really, because it's got more energy. So imagine energy is flying backwards and forwards between these two, and these are, uh, you can a good way of imagining it is like dodgeball or something like that. So these are transferring energy, and these have got more balls, that's the energy, and they can transfer more over to T1 than T2. And what happens is, over time, okay, so let's go with the dodgeball um, analogy here the balls are transferring backwards and forwards backwards and forwards until eventually there's the same amount of energy on this side as there is on this side and when that happens we have a thermal equilibrium between the two systems and that is exactly why um like things cool down to the same temperature or you know if you've got a hot cup of tea for example you leave it on the side it will cool down to ambient temperature because the energy will be transferred backwards because there's, there's a lot more energy in, in the cup of tea than there is in the surroundings in the atmosphere so the energies uh, exchange very quickly and over time that disappears and equilibrates to the same temperature and it's only because they're sharing the same things and eventually they share identical amounts of energy with each other and that's all equilibration is really so a bit of a long-winded explanation of temperature but i hope um, i've explained the different concepts that heat is a chaotic uh, motion uh, thermal motion of atoms and molecules and things like that work is the uh, uniform motion of atoms and molecules and we can really use that and that's like i said this is where thermodynamics is really powerful because we can uh, transfer heat into work and things like that and that's really useful temperature is more um, the intrinsic chaotic motion of molecules and atoms that can't really be harnessed and that's more to do with entropy and we'll talk about that later so that's it for now bye bye mm -hmm.